Welcome back to Life with Feet. I have this new challenge. I wanted to see how I could create avocado toast because it is a very trendy thing to eat now. I'm sure you've had some of it yourself. But I first of all have to cut into this avocado and uh, I use a knife just like everyone else. But I was wondering, Alexa, is an avocado a fruit or a vegetable? An avocado is a fruit. Okay, so now that that's established, let's cut into this thing like a globe. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. <laughs> okay, let's cut in here. I'm gonna cut into this like a globe, just along the side of it. It might be overripe, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I know there's a pit in the middle, so I have to avoid that. Uh, this is a lot of uh, strength to cut into it. But I'm almost around the whole avocado. And I could just feel how ugh, squishy this feels. It might be overripe. Maybe I waited one day too long to open it up, but let's see. Okay, I made, my, made it around the avocado. Now it's about twisting, twisting it apart so that I can pull this apart so I can open up the fruit and twist. And okay. Part of it is overripe because there's some brown, uh, but uh, other parts are not as bad. Hey Pat, you want some avocado? I'm not going to be eating any. So what's next? I guess I have to go to the store to get some more avocado. Um, I'm wondering if it's okay to eat this even though there are little dark spots inside. I'm willing to work around it because I'm the type of person that doesn't like to waste any food, but I don't want to hurt my stomach in the process. So I think I will just go ahead and uh, take a chance, but make sure I don't get any of that dark part right there. And I'm gonna use a, another knife to cut it out and put it on some toast. Well, what about the pit? That's my question. How am I get that? How am I gonna get that out? Okay, am I gonna stab it like this? Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work. Let's see, here it comes. Okay, come on out. Ah. Uh. A little harder than I thought. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now it went right back in there. Ah, okay, I'll just dump that in. Forget it. I'm gonna just dump it. Okay, it's out. And let's see. There's some good part of the fruit still in there. I can probably use that. Where's the bread? Okay, there it is. I'm really craving this right now. I need to get some to a toaster and uh, some bread. Okay, so now I'm gonna scoop this out, which it should be pretty easy to scoop out considering it's overripe. And sure enough, it comes out just like that. Get around the whole avocado. Okay, and it's out. Next one. Okay, there's a little more brown on this one. I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some of that brown part before I scoop it out. And that part is for Pat, the brown part. <laughs> okay. He will never know. Okay, I think the rest of it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and go for it. Wow, this is one ripe avocado, that's for sure. I'm just making a mess over here. Okay. Here we go. Come on out. Oh, I got most of it out. And the toast is ready. You know, the thing that I cannot stand is having slimy toes. I cannot stand having anything on my feet. Sticky substances or anything slimy. I need this one. Okay. Hot. One. Woo! Hot. Two. 
So I haven't figured it out yet which one is easier to use for putting on the avocado, the butter knife or the spoon. Well, for one, it's kind of like sliding off the knife, so I think the spoon's gonna be... I have to use two feet for this one. Okay. Now to spread the avocado. I still remember the first time I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on my own, how proud I was, but it took like forever. And that's something I've noticed that people who use their feet is that obviously you don't move as fast as someone who uses their hands. For, I mean, I guess some people get pretty fast at it, but for me, I'm not as experienced with cooking and things, so I'm not as fast as probably some people. Alexa, is there a Guinness World Record for making a sandwich with your feet? Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, is there any record for making a sandwich with your feet? Okay, so Alexa doesn't know. But I know for a fact that the Guinness World Record book does have a record for someone who is considered the fastest person to make a sandwich with their feet. And I bet you I can beat them. The only reason I know is because it's in the same book that I was featured in. Oh, my appetite. Okay, I'm starting to get hungry here. It's really hard to get this uh, avocado on the knife, but um, here we go. Okay, let's see, you got it. Oh, never mind. That's the brown part. Let's go with this avocado. And there's a little bit of brown there. I think that that's probably enough avocado for now. I'm going to have a bite. Because I've been waiting long enough. Mmm. I love avocado toast. So let me know, what do you think about avocado toast? Is this just a trendy thing that millennials came up with or is this something that's really good to eat? And by the way, I'm wondering, where's the best place to find some good avocado toast? I'd like to try it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe or go to patreon.com slash toetalks and subscribe to help us produce more videos like this one. See you next time. Alexa, where's the nearest avocado toast? I found an avocado toast. It is 733.4 miles away on East 3rd Avenue in San Mateo. I'm not traveling there. It will be open tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Do you want directions there? No, but thanks, Alexa. I'm not going to San Mateo.